When will I see you again? Whenever you want to. I want you to come with me. You know I can't leave my room, Dave. Yes, you can. We'll leave together. Come here. This is the only place we can be happy together. You have a life out there. I don't care about that anymore. All I, all I care about is you. All I think about is you. I love you. Bless you. No. No, wait. Come back to me. I'll be here. Your time is up. Have a good time? I want to buy her from you. Carlotta is copyrighted, Mr. Lane. She's under license. I'll pay the license fee. I'll give you whatever you... You don't have enough credits. But there is something you could do. What? The Assembly is voting on the Cyber Property Bill next week. We'd like you to vote yes. I can't do that. It would mean... Let me put it another way. Vote yes. Or expect consequences. <laughs> My life is already in ruins. I have nothing left. You have Carlotta. Or rather, we have her. And if you refuse us, we can kill her. I don't need you for this. Why don't you take off? Hey, somebody's got to keep you honest. Okay, Cardigan, you ready? It's about time you showed up. Hey, thank you, Jake. You look lovely, too. Hey, if I didn't think you looked lovely, I wouldn't ask you out in the first place. This is an actual date. Oh, no, I don't get time off for dates. I'm calling this another case. Definitely a case. <laughs> now, how's the new boss? Parker? Don't get me started. The guy's a management freak. Keeps talking about running a tight ship, which of course means he's afraid of making waves. Plus, he's got me running errands. Hey, I'm glad I didn't get you started. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. But uh, vending helps, right? Hey, you can gripe to me all night if you want. Jake. Hey, Dave. So glad you? you're here. Hey. Hey, Dave, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is uh, Sam Houston. This is Hi. David Lane. One of the only guys who went to bat for me when I was framed. Uh, Jake, could we uh, talk in private? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. You mind? No problem. I can wait. Monday. Be back. Yeah, but Fantasy Town is a licensed house. I mean, how can they blackmail you with that? You know as well as I do that it was legalized for health and tax reasons. A lot of people still find it socially unacceptable. Well, then go public. Extortion can't stand the light of day. Call their bluff. They'll kill Carlotta. I, I thought this is virtual reality. I've seen VR technology before, and believe me, this, this, this is something else. Well, tell me about it. Her eyes are so deep, consuming. That there's a, a sadness in there, too. 
talking about her like she's real. Gotta find her, Jake. What happens to me doesn't matter anymore. You gotta save Carlotta. I'll do what I can. Hmm? Well, sorry about messing up the dinner plans. But, uh, duty calls and all that. Yeah. Uh, especially when it comes to fantasy town, I can see how that might tip the scales. Hey, a job's a job. Hey, I'm not kicking it. I'll jump at any chance to do actual police work now that Parker's in charge. Got your new cover all set, Jake. You are one Clive Ellison. Politically influential, Ooh. richer than most countries, but morally bankrupt. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Downloading the ID. All right, so I'll talk to you when I... Oh, no. What? Did you forget to brush your teeth? No, you see that bouncer over there? Had a run-in with that guy before. His name is Lizette. What are you doing? Checking to see if the department has any wants or warrants on the witch. Bingo. You'd like to avoid prosecution? Guess he's wearing his flight ensemble. Guess I'll be doing some traffic control. Ce n'est pas moi. Lisette has done nothing wrong. And what do you call jumping bail? I am falsely accused. You are under arrest. But my community service work. <laughs> you. You made me break a heel. Oh, I'm sure you have others, Lisette. Let's go. You're welcome. All right, get in. you offering sweetheart mm. I'm looking for something new well check out the vr we've got a state-of-the-art feelorama chip it'll melt your pants well, that sounds good. <laughs> You can choose from girls, boys, or Android VR. But the fun is never virtual at Fantasy Town. So what's your fantasy? I want something I can't find in the usual dives. Girls, boys, or Android VR. So what's your fantasy? You have it pointed, handsome. Retry or abort. What's the matter? Didn't you like the preview? Uh, well, <clears throat> VR sex is like taking a shower with the water off. <clears throat> well, let's get wet. Well, listen, why don't we, uh, why don't we get the madam, huh? I want to find out about all my options. What can I do for you, cowboy? Don't you have a specialty of the house? Specialties can be expensive. In my experience, you get what you pay for. What kind of credits are we talking about here? I'm talking about this guy. I think we can find something for you. Is this the interrogation suite? This, Mr. Ellison, is the gateway to heaven. 
Well, I thought I made it perfectly clear I don't do VR. Pre-programmed, automated sex. Oh, there's not nothing my... pre-programmed or automated about Carlotta, I assure you. She's like no one you have ever had before. Try ten minutes. On the house. I'll tell you one thing. Never did get rich by turning down a free lunch. <laughs> been here and I will always be here we are in this moment you and I this moment is forever time's up Mr. Ellison was she everything I promised and more that's why she's 5,000 credits per hour. Whoa. You think she isn't worth it? Well, I think I'm going to have to sell one of my islands, reserve her for the rest of the year. Not a word about her, though, cowboy. She's for special clients only. Privacy. Well, what have you decided? Do you understand what you've done to Carlotta? How you've destroyed her life? Yeah, I really feel bad about it. The question is, how are you going to vote next week? People like you shouldn't be allowed to exist. You're sick. You corrupt everything you touch. You're now here. You're doing this all wrong. What are you doing? Get away. People are watching, baby. Don't show your hand. Just one witness sees you waste me. You'd be throwing your life away. My life's already in the toilet. I just want to take you with me. <laughs> Go to hell. What happened to him, Winger? Apparent mugging. Who makes you think that? His wallet was taken. He was stabbed. Are you aware that he's an assemblyman with an important vote coming up? Yeah. You're suggesting someone was trying to alter the voting profile. Yeah, I would call that a major alteration. I will consider your hypothesis. Don't bother. I I'm on a case. Captain Parker assigned me the investigation. I will assemble the data. Right 
Now, see, Winger's the kind of cop Parker would love. He's uninspired, methodical to a fault, and he's not going to go around rocking any boats. Yeah, well, that's my job. You think you can get me in to see Lizette now? I think you might be able to answer some questions. Yeah. This is a lot more fun than a dinner date. But no, Sherry, how would I know who killed him? I was in jail when it happened. Well, you're going to be going into a deep freeze if you don't start answering some questions. But cooperate and I'll see what I can do about the charges. Good cop, bad cop. Good cop, bad cop, so tiresome. But I like the bad one. Then tell me about Carlotta's room. Carlotta, is she pretty hot? Lisette, she bet. Only big boys go in there. What do you mean, big boys? <laughs> <laughs> and a judge, Sherry, he went in too. A judge? What judge? The one with the garters under his robe. But he was not as cute as you. Lieutenant Houston, may I ask what you are doing now? I am interrogating a possible witness, Captain Parker. In relation to what case, please? The, the David Lane murder. I'm interrogating this witness for possible information linking... Houston, you have no authorization to make deals in this case. In fact, why don't you report to my office right now? Yes, sir. Well, I'll meet you back at Cosmos after you're done. Yeah. I have nothing to say. You bad man. Sir? I thought you were in San Diablo picking up a witness. I'm going tomorrow. Then shouldn't you be getting ready? Ready for what? I get on a plane, I pick him up, I come back. Then what the hell's the idea of roasting a two-credit punk like Lee set in the middle of the night? I was following a lead, that's what I do. Well, you've already got an assignment, so get on it. Dismissed. Excuse me, but an assemblyman is dead, and I have reason to believe he was being blackmailed. Winger is on that case, and I think he's quite capable of handling it by himself. But I have information. Then that... give Winger your information. What is this about, Captain? It's about following orders. Lieutenant Houston, your office informed me you were here. I'm following orders, Winger. I'm putting together the evidence on the David Lane case just for you. I'm calling up judges to see which one plays a fantasy town. My experience is that most human judges would deny such a link. Oh, they do. But I scan their vitals during denial, though. Any lies detected? Zilch. That's a negative, Winger. And you can tell Parker I'm booked on the 10 o'clock to San Diablo. 10-4. That's a positive. That guy's a laugh riot. And he's a toaster. <laughs> yes? What is it? Judge Harrison, I'm Lieutenant Houston, investigating a licensed brothel by the name of Fantasy Town. Yes? What of it? We're especially interested in a VR prostitute called Carlotta. What's that got to do with me? Just checking to see if you had ever sentenced her. I guess not. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Your dishonor, you mean? That guy is lying with every body function he owns. Okay, let's run a list to see his most recent judicial rulings. You can do that. Your neurofeedback identiform EEG calibration is now complete. So how does the new toy work? Well, the hologram changes facial elements until there's a match with Jake's image of Carlotta. Then his EEG reacts to the match, and the computer locks it down. Sounds like a match. She's a pretty girl. She's more than that. Nika, run an ID on the face. Hold it. The data on Judge Harrison's coming in. Reversed his own ruling on a toxic dump case last month. Toxic dump? What does that have to do with the cyber property bill they wanted your friend to vote on? 
Well, that depends on who benefits from both Harrison's ruling and David's vote. Nika, could you run a... Yeah, Nika, run a scan. Nika, run a correlation. Nika, run a mile and pick up my laundry. No starch. And I thank you from the incredibly grateful depths of my worthless being. Well, it's about time. Carlisle Rossi. Rossi? That doesn't ring a bell. He's got his finger in banking, mining, entertainment technologies, including VR technologies. That would give Rossi motive and means. Subject's name is Madeline Kendall, born 2024. Parents deceased. Raised on a Christmas tree farm in Queensport. No arrests. Reported missing 2045. Never found. Kidnapped. Bet anything. I think it's about time we let Carlotta know who she really is. I'll go downtown, check if Rossi is on any of those federal lists. Meet you in a few hours. Hey, don't you have a plane to catch? I, uh, got bumped, didn't I? Yeah, I can do that. Again so soon? Mm. <laughs> you remember me? How can I forget? You're the philosopher. Think any deep thoughts lately? I'm not that deep. What you see is what you get. I like what I see. So do I. Brought you something. Past. Tell me about Queensport. I don't know that place. You must have been there once, weren't you? No. Weren't you? No. What does it matter? The only thing that matters is how you feel right now. What you feel like doing tonight. I want to talk to Madeline. There's no Madeline here. Only Carlotta. Madeline Kendall? Remember, Madeline? Remember how it was before? No. No. I don't know. Why are you doing this? Just, just try to think, Madeline. Just, just try to remember your childhood. Go outside. Look at the Christmas trees. There's a light snow falling. Smell the evergreens. Remember, I'm trying to think. It's great to be alive. It is great to be alive. Look around. What is that place? It's your home. Can I? Can I go there? about Carlisle Rossi. I can't, I can't picture who you mean. No, no. I want you to picture his face. Hear the way he says his name. Again. Please. I like 
it here. I like it here in my room. I just want to dance. Just dance with me. Please. You are not Carlotta. You're Madeline. You've got a life. People miss you. some powerful friends. Well, I am a very powerful friend, Mr. Rossi. That's why I hope you'll take my offer very seriously. Well, I take every offer seriously. What's yours? Well, I've seen Carlotta. And I'm interested in investing in the product. Carlotta. What is Carlotta? I'm talking about the most sophisticated, erotic, virtual reality I've ever experienced. Oh, how fortunate for you. But I'm afraid I still don't know what project you're referring to. Carlotta's room, Fantasy Town. Well, I hope you will consider my offer. Well, if Carlotta's name ever comes up again, I'll be sure to think of you. I have a major gripe here, Mr. Rossi. I've been waiting on this set half naked for over three hours. Carlisle Rossi, my dear. Please, you must forgive me for staring at your eyes. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Ellison, I'll be in touch. Just what the hell do you think you're up to? I'm investigating a blackmail and a homicide. You've been waking up judges all night. You missed a plane for the case you were assigned to, and now you're nosing around Carlisle Rossi, a very upstanding citizen. A very upstanding citizen that owns a virtual reality company that might be tied into David Lane's murder. Well, he also might be head of the mayor's re-election campaign. In fact, I think he is. Oh, so Rossi's solid because he's the mayor's pal? You call that good police work? It smells like a cover-up to me. This is not a cover-up. So what do you call it? I call it letting Winger do his job and letting me do mine and you do yours without going over the top. Following a trail of evidence is hardly what I would call going over the top. What evidence? You've got no evidence? So let me get some. No. Fine. I quit. I can't believe you quit the force. I can't believe Parker rolled over for the mayor like that. I mean, I know the man's a bureaucrat now, but he used to be a good cop. Yeah, well, gasoline used to be legal. Things change. Why don't you come to work for Cosmos? Why not? Really? Yeah. You're like me. You like to do things your own way. Would they pair me with you? I don't know. Would you want them to? I'll think about it. <laughs> so, how'd it go with Rossi? He's our man, there's no doubt about it. The question is how I get to him. So he didn't go for the investment scheme? No, no. But I shook his tree, at least. You never know what'll fall out. So what now? Well, back to Carlotta. Try to jog her memory. See if I can follow it to where they're hiding her. We need to talk. You talk too much. Trying to forget something? I can't remember. What are you staring at? I'm not a train wreck. Sorry, I can't turn away. What do you want? I want Madeline. Well, Madeline's gone. Let her go. I can't do that. And neither can you. Oh, yes, I can. It's easy. Just come here and give me a kiss. I can be anyone you want me to be. 
Just spare me, Madeline. Yeah, I know it's hard to find her, but you gotta try. You have no clue what you're asking me to do. You gotta go through the bad stuff if you want to get out the other side. There is no other side for me. Let me talk to Madeline. I'm afraid. I'll never let him hurt you again. Do it for me. Okay. Let's talk. I'm Jay Cardigan. Nice to meet you, Jay Cardigan. Pleasure's all mine. I've been looking for you. <laughs> well, here I am. Where? I'm not sure. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Nothing. Well, how did you get there? They took me. Okay. Now you take me. You mean we can go together? You just hold on to me. It's the only way to get home again. After that, don't stop. Don't stop. You got to keep going. I want to see everything. I want to see every detail. I'm sorry, there's no such person. Well, there's gotta be. She was here. Can you go back a year? I went back three years. No MBAs, no admissions of any kind. Okay, what about aliases? Patients too out of it to give a name. There was a young woman brought in two months ago. No name, car crash, fits the general description you gave me. That's her. She did come here? Yes, she was here briefly. Briefly? Where was she taken? She passed away, I'm afraid. No way she's dead. I'm sorry, I'm sure this must be a shock to you. No, it's not a shock to me. I just know that she's not dead. How did she die? Cerebral hemorrhage, subdural hematoma. Who was her attending surgeon? That would have been, uh, oh, Dr. Allen. And what's wrong with Dr. Allen? He died himself the next week. Drowned in his relaxation tank. It was really quite a tragedy. Not to say that your friend's death wasn't, of course. And what did they do with the body? Cremated, it says. Now, why doesn't that surprise me? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got patients waiting. Thank you. Oh, this has got to be a cut. Could be. Everything fits. Surgeon saves Madeline's life, and then Rossi tries to fake the records. Well, we still don't have any hard evidence on Rossi's involvement, so come no. on. Yeah, and then he arranges the surgeon's drowning. Come on, that's a cover-up. You look sad. What is it? It's 
hard to figure. Say it. Just say it. Well, I talked to this doctor at Hillside Hospital, and he told me that Madeline Kendall's dead, but I don't believe him. What if he's right? Well, he can't be right, because I saw her here in this room. Maybe this is all that's left of her. Carlotta in her pretty jail. I can never leave here. I can never touch a real human hand. dragged you through this whole thing. I mean, who the hell am I? You're my hero. I have to know who I am now. You've given me that. Carlotta's not enough anymore. The room's too small. There's a whole world out there, Madeline. I want to meet you in it. I want that too. Take me there. This Ellison is persistent, I'll say that for him. He claims he wants to invest in the Carlotta project. I think he's more trouble than he's worth. Open up! I know she's in there. I want to buy in, I'm talking about now. Take me off screen and deal with it. Well, I want to check out my investment. Where someone sells a short. Looks like we're going to have to bring you in on this deal whether we want to or not, cowboy. Well... <clears throat> Looks that way. I guess there's more to you than meets the eye, Mr. Ellison. Actually, less most days of the week, but he tries hard. up this bunch. Why don't you see what you can do in there?
The joys of love are but a moment long, Mr. Cardigan. You kept it like this, so you could use your mind. Wetware for VR programs. She's not alive in the traditional sense, though. Brain preparation is the medical term. It's all she'll ever be, really. You are the lowest form of life, Rossi. And you are gonna pay. I'm afraid you lack the evidence. The only person who could tie me into this was Honey, and she had the good sense to die. This is the way the world ends, Cardigan. Not with a bang, but a whimper. Too late in the day to save her life, Jake. It's not your fault. You know, you make friends, you make enemies, pass time. Most of it just flies by. It's just gone. There's only a few memories that really take hold. It's the face. I was just charging around like a hero. He's got to learn that there's consequences, that's all. Yeah, one of which was you almost busted Rossi. <sighs> Low life scum. <sighs> that guy's not going to be able to stay clean forever. One of these days, he's going to screw up, and I'm going to be there to take him down. Mind if I join you? <laughs> I thought you'd quit. The cop shop. I thought you said there was an opening at Cosmos. 